Howdy. This is my tape player amp that I recently put together from an old tape deck that I got from the tip. I think I paid a dollar or something for it, but um, it still works, but I don't have any tapes left anymore, so I thought, hey, why not just hack it and turn it into an amp? So the first thing you've got to do is take off the tape door. Now, the only, there's no easy way to do this, but just to give it a good yank, as you see that I did. I broke a couple of plastic tabs on it, but it's still closed and still works. Next thing to do is to remove the tape head. There's a couple of screws holding this together, so uh, just unscrew those and reveal the tape head. Um, probably best to desolder if you can. I just yanked mine off. Uh, it seemed to be okay, but you know, desoldering is always better. So once you've done that, uh, you can do what you want with the head. You don't need that anymore. What you need though is the two wires joined to it. Actually, it's two lots of two wires, so there's four wires all together. So locate those, and um, there was a little metal tab holding those wires in place. Just uh, remove the tab and uh, release the wires. So once you've located the wires, it's time just to trim them up a little. Um, around each one there was a clear plastic tube. I just uh, removed that so um, I could get to the wires a bit easier. But you haven't got much to work with, so take your time again. Um, you don't want to trim any of these too short, obviously. Once you've removed that bit of plastic, it's time to pull some of the um, plastic off around the wires so you can start tinning them. Again, it's one of those things just take your time with. Uh, there's not much to work with uh, for the wires, so just take your time, trim them, and add some um, solder to the ends once done. Okay, so once you've finished cleaning out the wires, um, adding some solder to the ends and tinning them, the next step is to add some longer wires to those shorter ones. They're just too hard to deal with at that length, so uh, solder on some longer length of wire. Uh, as I mentioned, there's two up to two. Uh, in each one, there's a red wire and a grey wire. Uh, sorry, a red wire and a white wire. Probably best if you solder on a black wire and a white wire. Unfortunately, I only had black and red, so I soldered red onto the white and black onto the black. Add some heat shrink just to protect those wires as well. Uh, once you've done that, you're ready to uh, attach the jack to the wires. Okay, so now you can see that I've finished soldering. Um, now how you have to wire this up is you grab the two wires from the black heat shrink. You can see there's a black and a grey heat shrink. Grab the two wires from the black heat shrink and the one black wire from the grey heat shrink and you join all those three wires together. The red one's a separate one and that's, that's kept separate. So the two from the black heat shrink and the black one from the grey heat shrink. I know, confusing, but check out the Instructable and there's a, um, a diagram on how this is supposed to be done. Once done, you just need to solder onto the um, jack. Now the three wires go to the side uh, solder point on the jack and the red wire goes to the top solder point of the jack. Again, I show you how to do this on the diagram in the Instructable. So you're ready to solder on the jack now. Pretty much the hard work is done. Um, you've located the wires, you've soldered on extra longer ones, now it's time to solder onto the jack. So the three wires, as I mentioned, go to the side solder point on the jack and the red one goes to the top solder point on the jack. So add a little bit of solder to each of those um, and uh, attach those wires. Again, this is a pretty easy step. It's not a difficult one, um, an important one obviously, but not a difficult one. The um, I guess the important part here is to Maybe experiment a little on best uh, way to join those four wires up. I just had a little bit of a play around until I got the best sound out of the tape player, but it's up to you. Just, um, you know, have a play, but I found that joining those three wires up and having that one single wire joined to the top of the solder point on the jack worked really, really well. So it's up to you. Um, you can follow my lead or you can, you know, have an experiment and on your tape player and see what sound you can get. Okay, so you can see me here drilling a hole into the tape door. Now this is for the jack to sit into. 
I decided to add the door just for, I guess, obvious reasons. It's just the easiest place to add, add the jack. Uh, it also means that I can get to the wiring and jack anytime I wanted to, and I thought that was pretty important. You could, however, put the jack inside the tape deck itself and just have it coming out the side. Um, there's a bit more messing about there, but it's up to you guys and of what you want to do. So, next steps is to secure the jack to the door. Now, you, it's probably best to have a really good think about where you're going to put the jack in the door. I kind of just rushed it and um, discovered that there wasn't enough room for the, the male section of the cord to go into. So, I had to have a bit of a play around on the inside, rip out some plastic uh, to make enough room, which is Bit of a bit annoying, but it doesn't really matter because you're not using any of the insides of the tape player. Um, it's really just that play button uh, to make the which turns the amp on. So here I go. I'm <laughs> hacking away here with a pair of pliers. There's no um, finesse. It's just chopping away, making enough space. I guess I would just want to be careful not to cut any major wires. There wasn't any wires around, so it was cool. Um, so yeah, place the door into place. Once you've got enough room. Uh, my door locked into place so it was all good um, also uh, so once it's in you should be able to lock the lock the door up in there if not add some glue but yeah so that's it really um, I'm gonna strum away now for a little bit so excuse my terrible playing but I hope you enjoyed this and if you want more information check out the instructable cheers So this is it, finished. Um, I've turned this old tape deck into a me mofo uh, amp. It's dirty and uh, grungy sounding, but you know what? It's pretty cool for a cheap old thing, something that you know I found down the tip actually. So you know, what you gotta do is push play, and then you strum away. How my guitar playing is absolutely, absolutely atrocious. I haven't picked up the axe for some time, but um, man, this thing's a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to find out more on how to make one, check out the instructor's site. Thank you.